Hello, uh, we are going to learn how to input an infiltration layer. In this uh, case today, we are going to use the core number method. So for that, I have uh, created uh, a layer in, uh, in GIS, in QGIS. Uh, just this one that has a, a, a column uh, with a code number that I just made up, 77. But usually we, we should pair that with the land use and the ideological group of, of, the, of the place we are working on. So now what we are going to do is from RAS Mapper, we're going to delete the one I created before. Remove layer. Okay. So we are going to right click and map layers, create a new RAS layer, infiltration layer from shapefile, SCS, curve number. And we are going to add this uh, layer that I made up. Uh, uh, okay, perfect. And here we are going to add fill and we are going to, so automatically the curve number shows up. We should also add the abstraction ratio that I don't have in my table, but we will add it now. So the field is from my attribute table, the CN, and add the value. And the 77 that we know, uh, that we put is there. So just so that it doesn't, yes, overlap with the other one, I can give it a name, SCS infiltration, create. Cover complete, we close. And this is the layer infiltration SCS1. Important as well to add the abstraction uh, ratio that for the SCS um, method is 0 0.2. And as well, it is important in the geometry, go to the geometry, manage geometry associations, and choose our infiltration layer SCS1. And that's it, we could just uh, go to our plan and file, save plan as 03 uh, grain with infiltration. And we will yeah, just leave the same and we will compute. And just to know that the parameters we included are correct. Geometry is being processed. It has captured our uh, land classification, infiltration. Um, yeah, and that's that's it. I think it's gonna run. So it's it's interesting. We we, we ran before uh, the precipitation 60 millimeters without infiltration and with infiltration, and we can do a profile here in the outflow of the catchment and compare both results. So plot time series flow. And we can see how the peak has decreased from uh, 36 cubic meter per second to 22. It's also a bit uh, uh, strange, all these uh, fluctuations. I think we should uh, try to solve that by maybe reducing the mesh or creating break lines that uh, captures better the network of flow. But yeah, I think uh, this is it. Uh, I hope it helps. and. Uh, yeah, a lot of luck with your wallet. If you have any questions, yes, write it down there. Bye-bye.